Imagine living in a world where you have a disease that affects only a handful of others. You have been searching for years to find a diagnosis, only to be told that there is no cure or effective treatment for that. Sad? Unfortunately, that is the reality for millions of people across the world living with a rare disease. I am Somesh Mahapatra, a PhD from MIT who worked on rare diseases, going to present on how AI is enabling a transformation in the treatment of rare diseases and how it is changing lives for the better. Before we understand as to how AI is enabling this transformation, let's first understand what a rare disease is and what exactly is its impact. In the US, a rare disease is defined as a disease that affects less than 200,000 people. Not so rare, is it? Ultimately, it affects more than 30 million people, or one in every 10 people. 400 million worldwide. 50% of those are children who won't live beyond the age of third, actually five. And there are 10,000 rare diseases, with 80% of them as of genetic origin. 5% of them have FDA-approved drugs, and 50% lack research support. What I want to establish here is that rare diseases may be individually rare, but they are collectively common. AI has been enabling a transformation in the healthcare industry, from diagnosis to drug administration. Previously, getting diagnosed for a rare disease took five to seven years. With AI, we can ingest tons of electronic medical records, blood work, and everything so that when a new patient goes to the doctor, they can see a list of potential diseases and suddenly say, oh, this is a possibility. And that five to seven years could be brought down to maybe months. Once the diagnosis has been done, a drug can be discovered, synthesized and manufactured using AI, and ultimately personalized to the genetic makeup, lifestyle, and age of that person. So AI can actually help in accelerating the rare disease treatment. To provide a more concrete example, I would like to take something out of my research done at MIT with Rafael gomez Pombrelli and Penteluti Group. Let's take a deep dive into DMD, or Duchenne muscular dystrophy. DMD affects one in 3,500 live male births. What it does, it weakens the muscle tissue. You lose the strength to move. Your heart stops functioning because the cardiac muscle cannot pump blood anymore. The diaphragm stops working because the lungs can't function. And a child of three to five years old age dies. That is the sad reality of DMD. In 2017, a drug called etiplirsin was approved by the FDA, a rare proposition for a rare disease. Unfortunately, the dosage for DMD with etaplirsin was at about 100 pills of Advil for a three-year-old. What is the quality of life at the end of it? Yes, the child is living, but at what cost? So people started conjugating peptides to this oligonucleotide therapeutic drug to try to deliver it better. And if people know what peptides are, they're strings of amino acids. If you have ever put beads into strings, you know that if it's like a 20 types of beads and maybe 100 different positions, you have 20 to the power 100 combinations. And that is a lot. It's like finding the perfect needle in a haystack. At MIT, what we did is we took a modular library of peptides conjugated to the specific drug, designed an AI model, and made peptides that delivered the drug 50 times better with the peptide than the drug alone. Now imagine, from 100 Advil pills, it's down to two. Actually, it's way better because we are giving the dosage in children. Improved quality of life, improved care, and a better drug. Now that is how AI is transforming the rare disease treatment. If you are watching this today, if you have a rare disease, I wish not, or you know someone with a rare disease, please register at the RADAR, or Rare Diseases Registry. 
There is power in numbers. Every patient's experience will add data to the model and help AI to make rare diseases rarer. Thank you.